Well, hey there, Internet. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So this is my personal build journal. I'm uh, building off grid a house, but you'll see no house around me right now. So this journal is keeping track of why it takes me as long as it does. It's a single solo builder to build a uh, um, 1400 square foot uh, Adobe house, Adobe style house using shipping containers. So what I'm sitting on here used to be a culvert, <laughs> but it's been run over so many times that it's, it's smashed. So I'm going to go ahead and do the culvert work. Um, the road is falling apart and I've lived on several private roads. And uh, let me tell you, uh, you got to get them before they get too far away because it reaches a point where you can't fix them with small tractor. It takes tens of thousands of dollars, which I want to avoid on this. So getting the water off the road is my job uh, this year and I'm working on it real hard. So let's take a look at what we have. So we have the leftover of a, I don't know, three foot of missing culvert. I had tried to use my uh, my backhoe and bend that back in shape and it, it's not going to. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut it off right there and uh, uh, use rebar. And if I can reform that, I will. I doubt I can. And build rebar and build this out to about this far uh, so water will will run the same thing on the other side it's a little too tight of a corner for uh, trucks to make and so they they run over the, the culvert there and they run over the culvert here so I'm hoping that a little rebar and some concrete will will fix that up but uh, that's what I'm keeping where does the time go and early on this week I did some grading for my daughter so uh, I'm at somebody else's house I can't be working on my own let's go ahead and uh, Cut this off. Anytime a shovel's involved, you know you're working hard. <laughs> Shovels are not your, oh, what a wa wonderful walk in the park kind of a tool. All right, I think I could get through that. So this blade I've had mixed success with, with sheet metal, no good at all, but it's chopping right through that. So at a certain point, it's a Diablo blade. A certain type of metal it's definitely built for. Now before I did all that work, I went ahead and took a look down in there and could see all the way through. Why don't you verify that for me, internet? What y'all see? You see daylight? 
I see daylight. The sea water's gonna hold up in there. So I'm gonna get my backhoe in here, dig out, press down on my backhoe, and hopefully get that out, and then dig this a little bit, shake this up. Then I'll put concrete in there. I'm gonna run over that scrap piece of uh, culvert and see if I could crush it down into a baffle that will fit on the other side. I might try to repurpose that. that right <laughs> it didn't bend it didn't deflect that one bit I am way optimistic I have no idea what crushed that to begin with a house me <laughs> bulldozer all right my little tractor couldn't get that done so now let's dig this out and get this ready for some concrete uh, <laughs> cracked me up All right, shovel time. I think I will repurpose that. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't crush it with my tractor. So I'm gonna put some rebar around it. I'm going to put some concrete around it, bags, and uh, call that a day. And reshape this just a little bit. And then this side, I'm just going to fix the bend, clean it out. Man, I hope I can fix that bend without pulling it out. Hmm. And then build it out like to here with concrete and then clean it all up. Boy, let me get some rebar cutting. So rain's coming uh, the end of this week and that's why I'm doing this I, <laughs> getting towards the evening I don't hate it uh, I've got some uh, black cloth I'm gonna put over that to, so people don't have to look at it maybe I don't know I might get enough dirt on there you won't even notice it 
I don't hate it. It's clear at least. It's not crushed. Uh, it will still drain. So I cleared out this. That was a backflow into it. Not a big fan. I sort of hate it. I think I'll do something here. Something on this end, maybe. We'll see. Time's on my side. I don't have to. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. I suspect that when I go to uncurl that, as hard as that stuff is, that it's, I'm just going to pull the pipe up out of the ground. I think I've got a floor jack. Maybe I can get a floor jack in there and scissor jack that open. I don't know. Might not get this one today. We'll see. I haven't shot a video in sunlight in a long time. Ever since daylight saving. Oh yeah, that saved it. That saved me uh, having to dig it out and all that. Okay, let's clean it out. <clears throat> Get some concrete in here and rebars and uh, widen this so when vehicles come and they hit this spot, they're not crushing that. All right, let's dig this thing off just a smidge. getting to be dark. Let's see if I can cut a little bit of this rebar. Alright. Oh, it's getting to be too dark, isn't it? These videos never work out. <laughs> but, uh, it is my personal journal, so to do. I work a lot in the dark. Alright, for those of you who say this doesn't work, you're wrong. Definitely works. <clears throat> works just fine. I do it all the time. I wouldn't build a bridge this way, but a little culvert that people keep missing and wrecking, well, it's a good way to handle it. I'll get a couple more pieces of rebar. I don't have enough mud to finish it today. I'll get some more concrete, so this will be a, I'll finish it up tomorrow. Some concrete will go here, here, and not here, but if somebody misses, they'll be able to right on right <clears throat> and uh, adds an extra four foot to the corner radius of the corner I'm pretty happy with that
Okay, well, there's my my stack bag culvert. So I managed to get an extra three or four feet here. I don't know if you look just right. You can see all the way to the end. But I did, I added a couple three feet here and a foot there. So four more additional foot to make this a better radius. In addition, if somebody gets down here, uh, you know, they're not gonna scrape the, uh, they're not gonna scrape the culvert anymore. Then I put some safety bars in there in case a kid gets in here and waits around when it gets full up. I know it doesn't look like it ever will, but Texas only has two ways it rains. Today it's raining right now. Four one hundredths of an inch is expected today. And then tomorrow I could have 12 inches an hour for four hours. I, I, you know, that's the way it is. So these will eventually cure, and then the red will disappear. If I don't like the red, I'll come up here with, uh, I use either black or I'll use green, and I spray paint them until they flake off and take care of that. That's one end. This is the other end. I don't have safety bars on it. Hope no animals go in there, but uh, I don't see it needing that. And then I repurposed the broken piece of culvert because I couldn't crush it with my tractor. If you saw that, it couldn't do that at all. I've been meaning to work on this road, but it's with the drought already in the spring. I got one bit of rain in February, and uh, now it'd just be dust if I worked with it. If I could, I, I don't even think I could cut it with my bucket right now. This stuff gets really super, super hard. So, but I'm satisfied with that much. Once it comes up, uh, we'll uh, we'll see if we can get all the way done. I'm gonna leave my tractor up here for one more day in the hopes that it rains tomorrow and that I can do some work, we'll see. Let me do one last thing. I'll, I'll show you where I did the exact same thing down on my property and I'll run a truck over it and prove to y'all that that'll hold a truck up. How about that? All right, so there you go, everybody. Just some rebar with some stacked bags. Look, at that's already rock hard. I wouldn't be able to break it. That's rock hard. So you can just do that. You could throw down some rebar and uh, put a truck, drive a truck over it. So now I've done that before and I've had many a wiser man than me tell me I can't do that, what I just did. Right there, the proof's in the pudding. You most certainly can. Don't believe everything. All the doubters on the internet, uh, you know, a couple of things of rebar, some bags of sacre. It's, listen, I, I know it's not, uh, it's probably 30% of whatever it's rated for, 10,000 pounds per square inch. But that truck's only two. So I, there's four bags plus rebar there. It's plenty strong. That'll last 50 years. And when the person gets tired of it, it'll be easy for them to take apart. They'll just take it apart. So that's the right way sometimes to do simple things in the country. Just keep it simple.